Hi everyone! As we head into spooky season, I'm going to show you four trending DIY Halloween ideas to help inspire you. I'm going to start with the Witch's Cauldron made in our 8 ounce Elegance tin. I used a round silicone mold to create the bubbling and I ordered a Halloween silicone mold online and used the skull for this candle. You'll also need a paintbrush and black acrylic paint and green dye. I made two different batches of wax. One for the white skulls and one for the green bubbles. And I also used the green wax for the cauldron. I filled up the cauldron and let it almost fully cure before putting the bubbles and skull in so they wouldn't melt or sink to the bottom. Then I filled in the eyes, nose, and mouth with black acrylic paint to make it stand out. And that is your witch's cauldron. Next is a bloody vessel candle using a clear lux jar. All you need for this is red dye and a paintbrush. I made two batches of wax again, one red and one white. Start by painting the red wax on the outside of the jar to create a bloody look. Let it fully cure and then add your white wax. Once that's done, you have a bloody Halloween candle. Now we have a very simple jack-o'-lantern candle. I use the black Lux jar for this to create contrast. You will also need a paintbrush and an orange dye. Start by making a candle as you normally would, and don't forget to add some pumpkin scented fragrances for the full effect. Once it's fully cured, get your paintbrush and orange acrylic paint and paint on your best jack-o'-lantern face. Simple and easy, but looks great. Last up, we have some spooky ghosts made from white taper candles. The key to this one is to manipulate the taper candle to create movement or a wave effect. You'll need a paintbrush and a container big enough to fit the candles. Fill the container with boiling water and soak the candles. After a minute, start shaping the candles a little bit at a time and put them back in the water. Add more boiling water as you go, repeating the process each time. Once you have your desired shape, grab your paintbrush and black acrylic paint and paint your spooky ghost faces. Remember, if you try to bend the candles too fast, they will break. Make sure you have extras on hand just in case. And there you have it. I hope I inspired some ideas for the Halloween season. Make sure to follow us on our socials and tag us in all of your Halloween DIY projects. Thanks for watching.